But going way back, what was it that you wanted to be when you were older, when you were a kid? What were your aspirations to be career-wise? Like a writer uh, was my first kind of aspiration. Uh, but I didn't really know. And then when I was a teen, a younger teen, I got really into playing pool. I got pretty serious about that. I played the US Open a few times, stuff like that. And I was, uh, I was never quite at that level, but it was close enough to where I was thinking about it. Then fell into poker, but yeah, I don't know. I've always felt like a little bit of a drifter or something. I don't know. Did you ever have a job or was it straight from school to, to poker? I had a few jobs. I was a uh, like a bike messenger when I was 16 uh, for a company called Broadway.com that sold tickets to the theaters in New York. But pretty pretty much, I fell into poker at a very young age, and an age younger than I would recommend, and uh, it just kind of kind of has stuck. What were some of the more challenging moments you had when you was uh, growing up? Anything spring to mind at all? As a kid, mm. or? Yeah, a kid or, uh, or early adult. I had some ups and downs, uh, but overall it was, uh, it was good. I'm thankful and, uh, you know, I'm here now. Were there any major mentors or people you look up to back then? Yeah, um, I mean, starting from the, uh, from the pool room, there were quite a few in there. I, I became pretty close with with a, a few people there. Um, my, my buddy Steve, I moved in with and, and uh, lived with for a while. Another friend of mine, a pool player, who's a very good friend, who's passed since, was a great mentor to me. Uh, his name was George. And then in poker, there's, there's honestly too many to count. Now, if I name a few, then I'm gonna forget. But, but a lot of the kind of old school mixed game players I became very friendly with and they've they've helped me a lot over the years and we've just developed a bond and then many of the kind of players my age we've you know developed a closeness over the years and, and uh, you need that in poker I think. I mean there are millions of people who love this game all over the world I'm one of them you know uh, but I never became a pro there was there was there was a moment, and I and I remember the moment when I was like, I wish I could do this for forever. Yeah. Do, do you remember when that moment was? Could you explain that? It's tough, you know. I, it's like I kind of play just because I sort of have to. I don't know, have to like not, not for the money or anything. It's just it's what I do, you know. I don't. I never thought about it consciously as a career choice. Um, I really did just kind of fall into it. I think. There's some, I don't know, there's some escapism involved. There's, there's uh, degrees of, of pursuing it that I just think you either sort of have that or you don't. And I, I don't even like the word like drive. It's just some people will dedicate kind of their life to something. And I, I did that for a long time. I assume everybody has some kind of a creative or an artistic or a love or a passion project that they want to get into, but they can't because they've got wives, husbands, kids, job, work. Was, was there any of those pulling you away from it, like paying the yeah. bills, that type of thing? Yeah. I mean, I've formed close relationships over the years with, with people. I've wanted balance uh, in my life and I've certainly had financial uh, swings that have been, you know, over the years, uh, they, they, they show up for a poker player. And, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, as I'm approaching my mid thirties, I'm trying to kind of ease into a bit more of a normal life and what have you be a little more efficient. I wake up in the morning now, I go to sleep at night. Usually I don't really play through the night. Uh, I try to rest and just kind of be thankful for the life poker has allowed me to, to sort of have now. I'm really grateful for for still being here. It's Nothing is promised in this sport. And uh, I'm just kind of taking it one day at a time, and I'm definitely looking to, uh, I don't know, to kind of broaden my horizons a little, maybe, I, you know. <laughs>